Hey everybody, it's Joseph Elliott aka Elisoft. Okay, so in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I color graded this image. Um, this is a portrait I took of my friend Jillian during a shoot we did a couple of weeks ago. And this is before. I've already done the skin retouch notice. This was the image when I processed it in Capture One. This was after my skin retouching and this was the grading that we did and so I'm going to show you how I achieved this look so let's get started all right so I have a document over here it's just a duplicate and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a curves layer and I am going to take this up to kind of make it a little bit matte and I'm going to drop this down and bring this in a bit all right, then I'm going to create another curves layer and I'm going to draw this in to kind of add a bit of contrast back and it might seem kind of redundant at first. Okay, I'm going to pull this back a bit, that's too much. And then I'm going to invert the mask, take my brush, make sure I'm painting white and I'm just going to paint it over the face. Just basically over the face. All right, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add a gradient map. I'm going to change it to luminosity and I am going to go to image, apply image and apply this only to the, I'm oh sorry, to change this and apply this to the red channel and click OK and reduce this. So perhaps 30. All right, I'm going to go back to this curve layer, the matte layer, and I'm going to reduce the opacity down to 50. Because I don't want it that crushed. Okay. Now, I'm going to go to brightness and contrast, brighten up the image by about 10. All right. Then I'm going to go to selective color. I'm going to go to the blacks. I'm going to add five. Put seven over here and add another five. That's just to kind of warm up the shadows. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add a color balance layer. I'm going to go to the shadows. I'm going to add minus six, minus two, and minus four. Okay, and go to the highlights. I'm going to add plus two, minus one, and minus two. All right, awesome. Next, I'm going to add an exposure layer. I'm going to reduce this to minus, that's okay. And I'm going to do this to minus two. I really want to crush those blacks again. I want to crush them a bit more then uh, okay i feel this is a bit too saturated so i'm going to add a hue saturation layer and bring this down to minus 10 and i like that yeah that's that's really good okay so the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to create an empty layer i'm going to take the gradient map the gradient tool I'm going to select this over here. This should be in, by default, it's the, what's this called again? Violet orange, yes. Okay. And what I'm going to do is on the empty layer, let's call this grade. I'm going to drag from left, I mean from right to left. And then I'm going to change this to screen. And I'm going to add a layer mask and I'm going to reduce the opacity. So it's going to give it this kind of sunburned, faded kind of flare. But I don't want it on her face. So I'm going to take a brush, change this to black, increase my flow to 50, and I'm going to paint it off her face and off the hair. Just like that.
of the face of the hair. All right, and let's blur that. So I'm gonna to go to filter, we're gonna blur the mask by 25. Okay, and that is looking really good. So let's see where we've come. That's awesome. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna stamp all of this. I'm going to hold um, Command Alt Shift E or Control Alt Shift E if you're on a PC to create a new stamped layer. And I'm gonna to go to filter. Now I what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna use color effects from Nick Collection. If you don't have that, you can just Google it. It's a free plugin, so you can go download the Nick Collection and use install it and then you get color effects. So what I'm doing now is that I want to bring back some of the detail on her skin. So I use the detail extractor and these are my settings. 5% for detail extract, so contrast is 6% and saturation is 8% and I'm going to click OK. So let's run. Okay, all right, so that's run. And we're gonna create a mask, a black mask. Make sure we're painting white, reduce our flow to 20%. And I'm just gonna paint on her skin to bring back the detail. Now, this is what I tend to use to bring back detail after I have done my um, frequency separation, skin cleaning. And it also has the effect of kind of sharpening the image, so I don't really need to sharpen later again so i'm just going to paint it really paint it all right and i'm just going to merge select the one there and it's control or command e to merge the two of them together so finally all i'm going to do is i'm going to add some grain and i'm going to use my grain action which i've created before if you guys would like to want me to do a video of how i created my grain action then just drop a comment below and i'll make a video and that's it. So if I'm just gonna put all of this into a group and here's our before, here's our after, our before, our after, before, after. All right, so thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, then please give it a thumbs up. If you would like to see more of my videos, then please subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys in the next one, later.